What's up, guys? It is Luis Alvarado, and I have Jeff Miller with me. Am I supposed to stare at you the whole time? No. You when am I supposed to look no, at the camera? You can freaking look at the camera, bro. <laughs> look at the camera. Um, Tell me when I'm supposed to turn. Okay, so I heard you mention this earlier. You don't have to be, and this is for people that struggle with positioning themselves as experts, right? Are you going to say you don't have to be an expert? Because that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Damn it. Did we ruin it? Fuck. Okay, let's start all over again. <laughs> let's fucking start all over again. And take two. So you mentioned that there's, uh, you only need to be as smart as your customers. You don't have to actually be like an considered like an expert yeah. in the field. Yeah, you can land like one thousand, two thousand, or even three thousand dollar a month accounts without being an expert, without having previous results, experience, or case studies. Like for some reason we think like, or at least, at least we've been taught like you need case studies to land clients. You don't. You need to be an expert in your field to land clients. You don't. Most times your clients do not want you to be an expert because they feel either slightly threatened or when you try to be an expert, they're like, you can't beat me at my own game. I've got 30 fucking years of experience. Who do you think you are, right? So like you don't want to be an expert. Uh, you can get people paying you one, two, three thousand dollars a month uh, for Facebook ads deals without previous results, experience or case studies. The reason why you can or could not has actually nothing to do with case studies and has everything to do with like you selling steps. So like uh, Donald Miller, I think is his name, like brand script. Oh yeah, yeah, brand story. Sorry, brand, brand, brand story script. Brand, yeah, story. something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, look, if you want somebody to cross a path, you have to tell them which stones to step on in what order, tell them about the river, tell them about the, the all the details, right? Show them the steps. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to get somebody to go on a journey, they are Luke, you are Yoda. You're guiding them through their journey. And so the way I get people like bike shops or car washes, which are not normal Facebook ads deals, um, massage spas, child psychologists, pest control companies, like all these like non Facebook ads deals, which are not like chiropractors, doctors, or dentists or gyms or whatever. Like the way I get them to pay one, two, three K up front without previous experience or case studies is I say, look, here are the seven steps to high performing campaign. And the first step is running customer research. I don't have to be an expert in you as a dentist and you as a child psychologist and you as a car wash. I have to be an expert in running customer research. And they go, oh, so they get like super excited and super motivated. And then I show them the remaining seven steps and I say, when would you like your results to start? They always say like tomorrow. And I say, great, to do that, you're gonna have to pay money, you okay with that? And they go, sure. And like all of a sudden I've gone from no experience in a bike shop to landing a bike shop. Uh, no previous results in a car wash and landing a fucking car wash. And no case studies in a child psychologist. No fucking child psychologist Facebook ad case studies, right? That's not a thing. Yeah. And then they pay and they pay up front. And it has everything to do with following the story brand, brand script, which is the worst way of saying a fucking name. But Donald Miller's process of saying like, if you want someone to cross the river, you have to show them the steps, talk about the river, like everything. Uh, if you want them to go on a journey, they are Luke Skywalker, you are Yoda. And you just show them the steps, talk about each step, and then say, when would you like your results to start? And that's how I'm landing like clients, paying me upfront. You not only get through it in your in your mind but also in, the, in their mind so you're yeah two birds with one stone like you calm mindset. the i'm not good enough part of you you increase your prices your clients like you a lot more and because you're talking about the seven steps you're allowed to have one step not work completely like imagine if all your time was facebook ads and your facebook ad campaigns bomb for two weeks happens everybody <laughs> and they're like oh god what am i supposed to do but when you talk about the seven steps not only is it calming saying like no it's fine we got it there's seven other steps but you've got six other things that are working at the same time like your soap opera sequences are still kicking in your lead notifications are still kicking in you welcome text your soap opera sequences or you welcome text your sneaky surveys your split testing is still working custom research is still working so even if your facebook ad campaign bombs six out of the seven things are still working so your campaign is technically still working and that's probably the reason why i've been capable or comfortable landing clients um, in areas that are just not the normal Facebook ad space because I'm showing the path. I've got seven things working all at once and one can bomb and six out of seven still kick in. So there you go. There you have it. Jeff Miller talking Hi. about how to be able to break everything down and where can they learn more about you? Wait, what? Where can they learn more <laughs> about you, Jeff? Ah! <laughs> it's bit.ly slash but B-U-T-T group, I think. Oh, really? But all, all caps, I think. If not, then... If click not, the I'll link just below. yeah, just click the link below, and you'll see you'll be part of the ass fam, the butt group, the butt group. Yeah, which actually, you have my butt stickers. Check these Look out. Look how shiny that is. That's that's butt two point oh. Uh, it's much more youthful, vibrant, and uh, it's like it's like four K. It's like a four K. It's a four K butt. It's it's much more lifty. Yeah, isn't that? It's just you want to bite into it. Nice. That's that Instagram booty. Damn.
Yep. Instagram booty. All right. Thank you. Bye.